a thing that can trip us up or confuse us on our path is ex sort of expecting awakening to just be uh, a constant state of peace where we find peace and it just stays or there's a feeling of peace that is constantly arising and that yeah, life is just this steadiness. But it's not actually the case. The case, rest, trying to wrestle with reality and trying to find just stillness continually is just uh, a way of sort of, it's just sort of a waste of time because you, what you're doing is you're equating a feeling, a feeling of peace and bliss with reality or whatever you want to call it. You've put some quality on reality and when that peaceful feeling is not there, you go, oh, I must, you know, I must not be present right now. I must be out of it. I need to get back to that place of peace and stillness because that's it. But that's not, that's not it. Peace and stillness it is definitely qualities that can arise, but it's not looking for a sense of peace and stillness. What we're actually, what the movement is, is actually it's a non-resistance to whatever is arising. And that has a tendency to create a peace and flow with life. Because things arise, sensations, uncomfortable feelings, and the, when we try to push them away, that's when they become a problem. That's when they become um, an issue. See, we have to, when things come up, we move almost, it's towards them. We move into them. We don't, we don't even just witness. Witnessing isn't, is holding a feeling at arm's length and trying to hold what we do when we witness is we see something uncomfortable and we go, we try grasp onto the awareness nature of reality because there's a stillness in that and we really hold on to that. But what we don't realize we're doing is we're actually resisting the feeling instead of we're being with it, but not fully. It's stopped, it's not witnessing and just feeling the emotion and letting whatever that is felt to come up, whatever sensation it's, it's, I always had this idea that awakening was a transcendence of life, you know, where we fully transcend this world and, you know, we're sort of just transcendent, but that's definitely a part of it. There is definitely a transcendent nature to it, but it's, it seems it's not embodied because once we've transcended, once we've seen through the mind, we can move into embracement of life because that's where real flow is, not a passive observer where embracing and feeling into life and allowing life to flow. Because when we're in a place of transcendence and stillness, we've decided that that transcendence is the reality, that there's, a, there's the world of form and all this stuff. And then there's this pure reality that we want to rest in. But these two realities are not separate at all. They, they are the same. And with that perspective, everything is awakening. Everything is enlightenment. We are constantly awakened because there is no division. And usually when we have awakening to the peace, we start to hold on to that, hoping that we will just become more and more embedded, embedded in that and but you'll notice, yeah, tenseness, numbness, contraction, because there is a desire that its nature wants to actually embrace life itself and allow fully, allow everything to be felt and experienced and seen. It's, it's almost more of a, it's dying into reality. 
and for ages I was stuck in a transcendent mode of reality and it 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 actually made me numb and disconnected from life which after a while it's like it means that usually if transcendence the witness stage has made you numb it actually means there's stuff in your body stuff in life that you haven't processed so you've resided like i talked about in my other video in the, into the back of the head but moving forward how how do we embrace first thing is noticing whenever a trigger or an uncomfortable emotion arises is is watch what our response is because sometimes it's gone it's gone go on your phone drink smoke you know they're more like surface layers or sometimes it's try smash it with positivity try just blast positive thoughts change the thought positive affirmations or we might use spiritual non-dual lingo like oh this is just this is just reality this is presence this is and sort of um yeah use lingo to push it away you know like oh this is every everything is everything that sort of stuff even though i said that before but there's a difference between using the lingo because if you really understood the lingo you wouldn't have to mentally tell yourself it it would be instant so if you're mentally telling yourself lingo when uncomfortable sensations are arising that's sort of your bypassing it's called yeah your non-dual bypassing so when thoughts, feelings, and uncomfortable emotions rise, it is just, it's moving into them. Not judging, not trying to change it, but something has come up. Some resistance, some pain has come up. And it's, it's you could see it as an energy ball and you can throw whatever you want. You can stuff it down. You can do this. It's like a ball of energy and you can say all these things to it, but all it, it needs to just be processed and felt fully and embraced, not just felt, but almost with a sense of love, like this is okay. And this is the aspect of awakening, which is pure acceptance. We, we want to get to a place where we're just accepting everything that's arising or discomfort ourselves, who we are as people, acceptance. And acceptance doesn't mean defeat or we just, oh, I'm I'm just this way and I'm stuck this way forever, but I'll accept that. No, it's true acceptance. Tran like will the reason you we suffer or we feel we're in these negative places is because it's because we're not accepting reality. We haven't accepted, we haven't embraced certain feelings, emotions, experiences in our lives that haven't been felt and we're just sort of trying to run from it. We're, we're constantly trying to run from our pain and even spirituality is like another respect, particularly like radical non-duality is another really good way of running away from uncomfortable experience. And it's about, there can be sadness, there can be certain emotions which are, which from a place of acceptance are totally okay. You experience sadness, you cry, but then when there's resistance, that's that's a sign, a signal of there's an identity with this emotion. If it's not processing, there is identity, there is caught up in this energetic ball. So I guess my pointing would be is when we're going through life is looking for where we're suffering, where ask and even get a journal out and like, where am I suffering a lot in life? And what am I not accepting? What what ex what feelings am I not feeling? What needs to be felt now? Because yeah, it's just it it will block you, and you you can't transcend. You can't just transcend everything. It's like a I think it's a hard pill I had to swallow once. Like I just can't transcend all my suffering. I have to I have to embrace it and. It can be uncomfortable, you know, when we're going through a period of embracing all our stuff we've not dealt with. It can be a pretty chaotic, uncomfortable period, but a necessary part. And if it's done with a sense of wanting to be and embrace that, you know, it's not as bad because, you know, there's a, pro a light probably at the end of that tunnel. 
Anyways, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.